how do you turn something like this into something like this? Hey everybody, my name is Brennan Bro, and welcome to my channel where I cover different robotics, drone, and other tech gadget projects. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn a NEMA 17 stepper motor into a robotic actuator, and in our instance, Claptrap's arm. If you're into building robotics, then it's very likely that stepper motors are in your arsenal of things that you like to use, and that's for a good reason. Not only are they very precise, but they're easy to control. One downfall on the other hand is that they lack torque. And one way that you can overcome that is with a gearbox. And in this video, we're gonna be using a very particular gearbox called a planetary gearbox. And that's gonna allow us to keep a very nice tight form fit to our robot and allow us to increase the torque from what would otherwise be a pretty wimpy stepper motor in order to do things like move a robotic arm. So with all of that said, let's not waste any time, let's get into the build. Alright, so getting started, I knew that we were going to want to use a NEMA 17 stepper motor and pair that with a planetary gearbox. So I typed that into the search engine of AliExpress and it came back with a bunch of results. And you notice a lot of them look the same. And the problem with this is even though they're easily adaptable to the NEMA 17 stepper motor, they all have that singular output shaft, which was going to mean I was going to have to fabricate or make something to attach the robotic arm to that. So I wanted something a little bit better and what I ended up finding was this one down here. This one is completely different. It still has a planetary gearbox but it has what's called a flanged output. And this means you can just directly bolt stuff to it and it's built really nice but the price point is way up there. It was going to cost me almost 400 bucks just to build the shoulder joints of Claptrap. And I wasn't about to do that. So after a little bit of research, I came across this 3D printed planetary gearbox made by Lobo CNC. And these looked absolutely fantastic. Not only were they compact, 3D printable, so cheap, but they were easy to assemble. And you can even see in the pictures that they made a robotic arm with these actuators. So I went ahead and downloaded all the STL files and he has three different sizes which is really nice just in case I have to accommodate different form factors to make sure that everything fits within Claptrap himself. The next thing that really drew me to these actuators was the reduction. So the reduction here is 38.4 to 1. So what that means is that it would take 38.4 rotations of the input shaft to create one rotation on the output shaft. And what that does is greatly increase the torque from that actuator. Now the NEMA 17 stepper motor I have has a relatively small torque. It has uh, just under 64 ounce inches or 45 newton centimeters. And with this gearing reduction, I would be able to achieve just over 2400 ounce inches or 1700 newton centimeters. That is a huge jump and I think that's going to do really really well for our robotic arm. So let's go ahead and get all these files onto the printer. I started off 3D printing some parts, cleaned them up, make sure there wasn't any fuzzies on there. Put the sun gear and the base plate on with some M3 screws. Now it's really important to make sure that these are flush because you don't want any of the gears hitting it as they turn. Using some Gorilla Glue gel, I put the nuts in the output shaft of the actuator. It gave me a little bit of problems, but I was able to coerce it in there with some screwdrivers. Putting the bottom plate on with some screws, you can see that there are indicators here which are really important because the planetary gears that actually spin around on the inside need to line up with those marks. I went as far as counting the teeth to make sure that they're all evenly spaced and once in a while I would just turn it by hand make sure that it's still free spun, put that last sun gear in there and then lastly the top plate with those nuts that we put in before. Now the last thing we have to do is really just test her out. And as you can see, I had to keep putting my finger over the top output shaft because the gears want to keep lifting it up. 
and that'll happen until we insert the bearings later on but if we take the cover off you can see the planetary gear is doing their thing now, I wouldn't really recommend this unless you want to get your fingers pinched but it looks cool so taking the whole gearbox off I wanted to show you how much torque the NEMA 17 motor has or rather the lack thereof now if we put that back on, you can see that I'm putting a lot of pressure on with my fingers and while I'm able to stall it, the torque coming out of the flange is a lot higher than just the NEMA 17 motor by itself. Now the next thing that we have to do is insert the bearings or in our case it's going to be 7mm BBs. And I'm using my wife's half cup measuring cup here so shh, don't tell her but just inserting them in the cutouts that were provided by the designer and sliding them along the track. I'm using an Allen wrench here, but really I would recommend something that was a little softer because you don't want to mark up these BBs at all. More friction means less torque at the end. Everything's put all together and let's do one final test run. And it looks like it's spinning really, really well. And if I turn it off to the side, you can see that that top output shaft no longer tries to lift up off. Trying to drag my finger across, I can see that the torque is definitely still there. At this point, we have a nice actuator that greatly increases torque. Now, you're probably thinking, cool, it spins, but let's see it do something. And in order to do this, I had to 3D print another part and bolted it to the output flange of the gearbox. And I ended up with, well, take a look. It looks pretty darn good. It's certainly not the fastest in the world, but that's just due to such a high gearing reduction ratio. And that could be solved by either changing the actual gearing itself or the delay in between the steps of the stepper motor itself. What's that? You want me to work Saturday? I don't think so. Alright everybody, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for joining me. I really think that this actuator is going to make a huge difference when it comes to building Claptrap. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that like button and share with your friends. Now if you want to stay up to date with this build and any future builds, make sure you subscribe and turn on those alerts. And until next time, take care.